So I make it the practically has been growing up on here and hatched in here just like the salmon. Uh, my daughter is gonna be 21 years old. My wife is from Michigan, she's a city girl. And she first came here, nobody believed that she's gonna last. But she did outlast lots of people. So that's the way I am and here. I, I understand the value of the fish. And I always thought about this particular fish. It's a great uh, product and I love catching silvers. What, it, what makes a silver salmon so special? Uh, probably because they're fighters, they're big. And uh, this is the fish which you work for. Because during the salmon season, the red salmon season, they come by the millions and it's a gift. They load your net, right. no problem. During the silver season, you need to work for. You need to be attending your net, pick every fish which hits the net uh, before the seals. And I like the taste of the silver. So you prefer silver over reds? I prefer that. Japanese are not agreeing with that. Well, uh, you come with the second one. So I prefer that. I like king, kingfish too. But silver is a very good, and I think uh, the consumer should uh, get the benefit of, uh, of uh, acquiring the taste for silver. When, uh, when, when is the fishing season? When do you come up to Alaska? I come in the beginning of June, first week in June. And say sometime until the end of September. So. Uh, um, it's all depending because the market haven't been fully developed and uh, has been overpowered by the excessive uh, uh, run and red salmon and nobody was interested. It's a little bit more delicate fish to tender, you know? It's okay? I go and then deliver, come back and get these But uh, it's a good fish. Okay. Well taken care of. So the people get the money to work, no? Mm -hmm. And uh, I would say to everybody, eat silver rather than eating um, um, farm, fish. farm fish. Wild salmon over farm fish. Yeah. Absolutely.